so these are the five units coming to global in season two so this is going to be a video on how to prepare for these units but also majorly how to prepare for a season two right there's a lot of stuff coming if you want to see all the events check out my last video and you'll be able to see pretty much everything we went over all the patch notes we got a bunch of new game modes new events and season two is looking to be the best season between global and jp just like entirely because of how much stuff they're bringing so let's just get right into it so for preparation right um you need to know what you want you need to know between these five units which ones you want and uh, if you're gonna get them and if you need them okay so you will be able to choose one of the three seasonals from the gateway key but you cannot do more than one even if you buy the one from the paid crystal shop even if you buy that key you are only able to choose one seasonal unit a season so we got Noel. Okay, Noel is a AoE unit who has a barrier. She is the most annoying unit in the game and the most long-lasting unit that probably won't be fading out anytime soon until they just completely destroy barrier meta. She has a counter on her barrier and it is a very strong barrier because it can go easily over 100k shield, right? Her ult is also very strong too and she is the quickest DPS. So she is a very good unit. And probably the one that everyone is going to be going for between the three. If you are choosing one, okay, if you're choosing one and you are not summoning on this banner because you summon too much on anything else, then you are choosing the well. Now, Charmy is the second unit that you would most likely want. She is a triple healer all comp with continuous HP recovery, which means she is healing. If she applies a heal once, it is for two turns, okay? And that means she could stack continuous HP heals and just go crazy, okay? Her dupe passives is going to make it so that she's healing even more times by giving it to when an ally's turn ends. Every ally turn, she's healing either three, three up to 10% HP, and she is going to be very good for PvP especially, and she will be a very annoying unit to fight, especially if you put her with Mars. Oh my god, right? So, Ghost is going to be a single target uh, support supporter who's going to help for nuking so if you need someone for an all attack buff i would say he's a very good option but you also got to know at some point in season two or season three i don't know it depends he might not be in season two because of the fact we don't know when season two ends or if kiara and kohono are going to be in season two or three really depends on dates but gifso so is a sr unit who is also going to be very similar to him but maybe well technically giving more damage buffs than ghost so there's that to consider go uh, like it, it, he's an sr gift so is an sr it is this sr right here it's the old man we have no idea when he's going to be coming to global but he gives what increased damage increased damage and increased all attack which is very similar to ghost but as an sr so it's really up to you if you're going to go for ghost or not or wait a bit longer now asta swimsuit is going to be from the event okay and he will be a grinded unit free to play completely free to play which is very beautiful to actually see um, this might mean to me season three is completely scrapped i just don't see them doing a two unit season th this early on and also with two shitty units so well not shitty just not units that people would necessarily summon for so um what he does basically is just uh he's going to be an aoe taunter with a guaranteed taunt on one unit he has a combo stun he's going to be also helping people take their debuffs off removing them transferring them to him and then when he removes them if he has a skill page which is free he also gets immortality which is uh, pretty cool he has stun block which is another big part of his kit for pvp at least and uh, yeah he's mainly going to be a cc stick so if you want to do dispatch earlier then i would say that this is probably a good way to level him up right get dispatch 198k for gear and then that's gg now julius we all know he is just the god of this world right probably the best P uh, pve unit against bosses to this point right very good alt decreases stamina on all three of his skills if you have the skill page he applies time stop which could disable the effect of the, or could disable the usage of the skill too he increases his speed increases his stamina he has a res if you get his dupe passive and he does very good damage on his alt max dupe is at 107 speed which is one higher speed than noel both noel and julius are much higher speed than the average dps which is very good and julius is just an amazing unit right so this is this unit is not guaranteed to be coming but he was said by tectone so we could imagine basically tectone uh, leaked it or leaked it he said it out loud reading it from a email sent by garena when he was doing a sponsorship for them so i don't know what was going on there but something weird was going on so now that we know 
you can see what you need obviously noel being number one with julius and then seeing if you would want charmy and ghost see how to approach them pretty much now let's get into what exactly you need to be preparing with exactly okay so first of all in terms of gear okay there's something pretty important that i'm going to mention right after but first of all you're going to need two magic attack sets well at least one for now but what if you do plan on getting both noel and julius you're gonna need two because you're probably gonna be running them on the same team and building them with magic attack especially noel 99 magic attack or 100 magic attack on noel is the way to go okay it is the way to go and as for the substats you can worry about that later because we are getting substat rerolls in um season two with the world uh, world boss so world raid world boss i forgot but with the blue golem we are going to be getting subs every roll, so just get your main stats, get that up, and then we're going to worry about the rerolls later on in Season 2. So, Noelle obviously scales off a of magic attack, her barrier does too, so you want to build her 100% magic attack. And Julius does have more magic attack, so you want to build him up with magic attack. And then as for sets, we'll talk about that more later, but Julius is more of a crit unit, and uh, it's basically for that. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about exactly your sets a bit more later just for now have magic attack sets ready the main thing that does matter either way is going to be the main stat and main stats so as long as you have the main stats all in lr then we're looking beautifully so you wouldn't want to have two especially because running them in a team together is very strong okay now the next one i need to actually start doing this um start preparing for it actually but who would i do it on i guess we'll just do it on nebra for now yeah we'll switch this off so we are going to be needing a set where it is only hp if you are going for charmy charmy is actually going to be a unit that does want hp gear which is very good reason being is because of the fact that we have no other use for hp gear so now we are going to be able to build three two sets of hp and that is pretty cool so you guys do want to make sure that you have um hp gear and that won't really help me much. I need, I, man, I really do need better sets, huh? Well, anyway, you're going to build uh, four rectangles and then three squares. And then that's going to be it, right? So uh, make sure you have HP gear for Charmy. She does scale her healing off of HP. So it is very important that you have an HP set ready for her. So that is the only other set that you really need to like prepare for. Um, especially this one i'd say compared to julius and noel because asta's right it's just a defender so you could stop mars is on if you really need to or create a whole new set very similar to mars and then ghost is just running speed and defense gear so that's really it as for the gears right now um make sure you've gotten all the crystals and uni dupes you can uh, because you are going to need it this uh patch so especially just checking out making sure that you have all the star accumulating stuff i'm going to get to this probably soon uh the chapters you finish up to five we are going to be getting chapter six in season two that's very cool making sure you have mage's path done okay um this is something uh, listen i'm, I'm going to do it all soon okay i, I mean i'm not worried because i have already a pity but and i spend but besides that some quick ways to get some crystals let's talk about that right now the main way would be making sure that you have all your worlds at level one if you are really rough on resources because getting every world to level one by mainly um grinding the patrol stages getting all the worlds to level one will be giving you 300 crystals okay and then the other way well a very small way but uh a way <laughs> is to make sure that uh, you have like done the one-time rewards for each one because this is like what 20 uh 2020 20. okay so it's 60 it's 60 each right so this is a single that's half a single right so you could get a bit of currency here and then getting as far as you can in hall of illusions i'm probably able it's just i was doing it on auto and then it stopped me here and i haven't been able, i haven't like felt like doing it but if you get up to here you should get like a good like multi or so in total from 1 to 70 a bit more so it is pretty worth it and they're probably going to expand it to 80 i think or they're going to wait till season three which i don't know i feel like they could just do it right now We'd be able, now that we have Noel and Julius coming, so they could have just expanded it to stage 80 and it would have been pretty fine in my book. So like those little ways, making sure that you, because uh, you could just do the one-time for one -time rewards for each. It's 150 each. If you are really rough on resources, you know, these are the ways. Getting people from 10 to 15 in the bond patrol and then, or a bond with affinity, my bad. Every unit getting them up from... Uh, 10 to 15 right that's another way that you are able to do it and of course getting all the universal dupes so making sure that you have a raid done right i mean there's only one day left for raid so make sure that that is done we are very close to season uh, two. Oh my god 
That is so weird, huh? How much time is left? A day and 18 hours. Insane, bro. Actually insane. So, after this, um, we got to talk about this. It's actually quite important. So, this event is going to be draining your stamina in the next couple weeks. You're going to be grinding it so that you can get a free SSR and a free skill page and a bunch of other rewards. Like a free, well, not free, but um, a new healing LR gear set, which is going to be very good for um, the new Charmy. Right? A new skill page, which honestly, like, if we go to it, um, it's not really anything crazy right uh what is it here upon taking crit damage there's a three percent chance to increase your defense really not that crazy um and you're also going to be able to get um some mage uh, what's it called shared mage pieces uh, ssr some skip tickets all that stuff but it's going to take a lot of resources okay a lot of resources so you're going to want to save your stamina boxes and any stamina you're able to save for this event okay i'm telling you you're going to be using a lot of stamina in it and it's going to feel worthless but as long as you can get that one Asta, then that's good enough. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's rough. But you're going to still be doing it, most of you anyway. Unless they just make it a lot worse and not worth it, then we'll see. But for right now, I would, say rec I would recommend just saving a lot of your stamina boxes for this event. But of course, use your stamina if you need right now on like anything, right? Getting their talents, getting anything up. So yeah, that's uh, basically it for that. But uh, besides that, right? You could also just make sure that you have all of the um, patrol stages done so that you could get all the bond gifts for the units you want to upgrade and get it as so that you could like level them up as quick as possible, right? Get them to bond 10 because obviously you want to get them to LR so you can get all the bond gifts from the patrol stages. And then especially in world one, there's going to be the attacker gift box that you guys should buy. But then if we go to World 2, we can see there is the Healer one for Charmy, um, Supporter one for Ghost. Uh, world 3, I'm pretty sure, has the um, Universal one, right? So you can get the Shared Gift Box. Um, and there was also the defend Defender for Asta if you really need. But this is like very late game uh, grinding, right? W w that was Debuffer, never mind. And then Defender one here. And then I'm pretty sure World, there's world 5, I don't have the shop yet. So, okay, it's, it's when we do Chapter 6. All right, so yeah. Just make sure that you have um, a lot of this stuff done. Make sure that you guys are preparing uh, to save your uh, stamina boxes because I'm telling you, bro, the amount of stamina they are going to be draining out of us for that event is going to be wild. But besides that, that is essentially it. Let me get my daily. Yeah, I know y'all can't really, but yeah. Anyway, I got what, six? Oh, this is nice. This is nice. That's 18 right there. 18, bro. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope this helped. Peace.